hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel my name is rukewe and today we'll be making a bubble kaftan with this ankara and this um a gele. yes you can see i'm using this a tie and wood a tie that i have to make this beautiful bubble kaftan if you are new to this channel please don't forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel we are new we're just trying this out please like and subscribe and support us thank you guys you guys are the real mvp so this is um the gele, the old one that i have I decided to use it to make the design for the dress and this is a CCS Ankara I'm using this CCS Ankara to make the bubble kaftan for today's video so let's set this a tie aside that we're using for the design so we'll be using this Ankara um, the length we are using is 56 inches. Yeah, we are using 56 inches, but we'll add 2 inch sewing allowance, so it will give us 58 inches. So let's fold it into two. So this is the 58. I folded it into two. So let's take the measurement. This is it. So we end at um, stop at 59 59 inches after folding it we got 59 inches please guys whenever you are folding your fabric make sure it's the wrong side you are working on fold it to the wrong side then after folding it into two we are going to fold it into four so guys see it's folded into four you as you can see one two three four so please don't forget to use the wrong side of the fabric if, whenever you are making this so yeah guys trying to make everything to be equal so that bubble will be lovely not having different side so first you take your shoulder the shoulder is 16 divided by 2, which is 8. Then you take your desired length. I'm using um, 13. So let's just use to the end of the fabric. So I just made it to the end of the fabric, as you can see. So in total, everything is um, 22 inches. So you see 22 inches. As you can see, everything is 22 inches here. So then, so let's go and take the vertical line. Our boss point is 11 inches. So you mark 11 inches here. Mark 11 inches here. Then our waist is 17 inches you mark 17 inches here then you go down to a hip so what i do sometimes is i just use the hip depth to get my hip measurement so a hip is um 13 inches so the full length of the dress is is um uh, 56 inches 56 inches but i'm adding two inch sewing allowance so which makes it 58 inches so after i finish everything i'll go ahead and make a straight line so we'll start from the bust then to the waist As you can see then to the hip then go down to the full length so 
so what we'll do here is we'll take our bust measurement our bust round which is um, divided by four is 10.25 so we mark 10.25 here then we add 1.5 for is 1.5 sewing allowance yeah 1.5 sewing allowance so mark 1.5 for ease then we add the one inch as our extra sewing allowance so the 1.5 is for ease but it depends it all depends on you like i don't want it to be too tight and i don't want it to be too free so i'm adding extra one inch for it for it so i'm adding two inch um sewing two inch sewing allowance yes so we added 1.5 for ease, then um, not 1.5, we added uh, more than 1.5 for ease. So let's say we added 3 inch for ease, then 1 inch sewing allowance. So we we'll go to the waist and divide our waist. Our waist is 39, 39 divided by 4. 39 divided by 4 is um, 9.75. So let's mark our 9.75 here. So mark our 9.75 here. I'm adding 3, is, three inches for ease. For ease. Then 1 inch sewing allowance. I, I just basically like it to be free. I don't want it to be tight at all. So we'll go uh, go down to the hip. We'll go down to the hip. So the hip measurement, the hip circumference is um, 49. 49 divided by 4 is 12.25. So 12.25 is here. Remember I said I'm adding 3 inches sewing allowance. I just want, I want it to be free. I don't want it to be... I want it to be free so i'm adding a uh, one inch for uh, sewing allowance my my three inch is for the ease so whatever you have here so let's calculate it we have the total of 16.5 16.5 so whatever we have here is what we bring and add we'll take it down to the measurement down here so the same measurement you have in your hip line is the same measurement on your M line. So let's connect. So we are connecting it now. The bust to the waist. Then the waist to the hip. Then from the hip, we'll take it down straight line guys don't forget use straight line so take it straight it's not supposed to be i don't want it to be fitted actually remember guys that we have um the, the length of our sleeve as 22 so to bring it down i'm taking it down with um 10.10.5 so i'm marking 10.5 here I'm marking 10.5 here so see what i'm doing here so i'm bringing it like so down to the bust measurement so i'm giving it a curve if you can't use that, you can use your curve, your hip curve, to just give it a curve, like so. So to be like this, use your hip curve, your hip roller to give it a curve, like so. So guys, we are done with this part. Let's get down to the neck. We are working with the neck width of four inches. So mark it four inches. Then the neck depth of the back is 1.5 inches. You mark 1.5 inches. Please, guys, don't forget to mark your neck depth. 
So our front depth is 8 inches. So then you guys go ahead and connect. Connect connect the back neckline. Like so. Since we connected the back, the front depth is V shape, so we connect it like so. So this is the back and this is the front. This is the back neckline and this is the front neckline. So for the sleeve, we'll just slant it, slant, let's slant it, just slant it a bit from here. Just give it a little slanting like so. Just slant it a bit. As you can see, you can see it. So we we'll cut the back first, cut the back together before we cut out the front. So let's go. So we are cutting at the back in order for us to separate the front from the back. Okay, guys. After cutting out the back length line, we are going to cut at the other part. So, so this is it, guys. As you can see, this is it. So, we are done with this. We are done with this so this is it but since i want um i want it to have a pocket so from the waist you go down by one just go down a bit so i'm using one inch going down by it for the waist side yes on the waistline so on the waistline i'm going down with by one inch so after going down by one inch you pick it up like so then you notch it Voila. So this is where I'm going to start using my pocket when we start sewing, guys. So guys, the front, this is the front. This is it. So before we separate the back from the front, let's, um, we are going to notch. So take it and notch. So we gave it a little notch by the next side then we come here and also give it a bit a little notch so this is it so let's separate the back from the let's separate the back from the front on the center front if it's here we start marking our two inches so let's start to mark our two inches from here so two inches downward. So use my ruler to mark it from the next width of four. Two. Four inches. I use four inches here. Mark it down to this eight inches that we put here so but you see we stop at that mark that we add the two the two inches then we cut it out so we cut it out like so sorry guys so we cut it out
you see it guys so this part this see see the neck Adam. see the neck so put it out like this so this is no longer needed we won't be using it but you know with this that we made you can actually use this to make your normal kimono dress so what you do is just take the normal measurement and pipe it and open it so it will be open like so so you can use this for your normal your normal kimono dress so let me not shit here because this is yes we'll be using it so i gave it a little notch if you want to make normal kimono without the normal uh, closing with this we are closing it as a kimono baby but if you want to make it as just kimono without closing it this you are good to go so all you have to do is just to do the normal design and you are good to go so guys we'll start measuring so we'll start from here from the center back all the way down to our eight inches so i all together i have please guys you have to be extra careful see what i did here so you turn it like so so do it like so so this this year we got 5.5 so you turn it and we have 14 here so put it down just jot it down and see you can jot it down and just write 14 in a piece of paper or something then from there we we'll take the measurement downward to all the way to our M line. So we have 14 here. So take it all the way down to our M line. Yeah, my, my tape is very long, so it's longer than 60. So everything we have is um, 64, 64.5. So we have 64, 64.5, guys. So guys, this is the attire that I decided to use. I've never tried it before. I decided to use this. It's my old attire. So I want to see how beautiful it is, how beautiful it will look. So we'll be using this. So I took five inches. Yes. So five inches. Then we, you know, we had 64, 64.5. Divide 64.5. The total number we had was 64.5. Divide 64, multiply 64.5 by 2, give me 129. So 129. So I cut this. So this is it. This is how long it will be. So what you do is you join these two parts together so that you will be able to um, join it together to get your desired length. Then I can add your interfacing to it. So we adding our interfacing yes i want to i want to use this as an interfacing then so that it will be a bit thicker uh, around the neck the neckline so for the for the sleeve so guys i use four inches for the width of the sleeve so this is what we are going to use to turn the sleeve so i cut out two pieces so guys for the pocket will be I'll just be cutting out a square so but I want it to be the, I want it to be 10 inches so let me just make it 10 inches this is what I do on regularly on normal basis I just do like this then I put my hand then cut it out so I cut it out like so but you can decide to just use, let's say you use 10 inches and just draw out a line and cut it out as a square. So it all depends on you, on the method you want to use to cut out your pocket. So let me just go with it like this, guys. So we're having four pockets. two on each side so it can be like this you can decide to make it like this 
you can actually decide to make it like this it all depends on uh, this is so if i do it like this this is how deep i i want it to be so i can do it like this and to depend on how deep i want it to be so you can actually reduce it i feel it's too deep so see my end went deep so i decide to reduce it a bit so i'm cutting this out i feel it's too deep so this is it so you saw it like so you cut out four pieces guys so please guys don't forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel let's go to the same machine to join the um a tie to the sleeve so so that we can turn it the way exactly the way you turn your bias guys that is how you are going to turn the sleeve so after we have done with the sleeve we'll come back and i will show you how to join the front facing for the front design for the dress okay guys so this is it this is what you do pin it this is the front side facing the back of the fabric so you pin pin it before you stitch up using half an inch so you can i use interfacing for it i want it to be thicker so you can So this is it guys, you go to the machine and run a stitch across. So guys, this is it, I've stitched it front side, front side of the, of this, of the design, or I use a tie, remember? So the front side of the tie facing the back side of the fabric so i'm done i took it to my pressing iron and i did i just ironed half an inch for the top stitch so you turn it like so then you run a stitch across to the end so you run a stitch across to the end so it's basically the way we do our bias just that this is not bias but you can just if you know how to do bias this is basically how you do your bias so let me run a stitch across and I'll show you when I'm done. This is it guys. I'm done. So you need to work. Always remember to cut out so that you don't see any straight when you are done to be very neat and perfect. So what we'll do now, we are going to the neck. Let's do the neck. So this is it for the two sleeve and turn this sleeve and it's so pretty let's go to the neck okay guys so this is the one we are using for the neck i have turned i've ironed it with my interface then i divided it so it was five inches right so you can see the pencil the pencil line so i divided it into two so 2.5 2.5 on both sides so let's let me bring the big one then i'll show you how to turn the neck and everything so guys this is the middle point so this is the middle of the etal so you can use your pencil this is this is the middle as you can see so it's quite easy to because this is the part i join the two together this is the middle then i'll go ahead and attach it to the center back of the bubble this is the eight inches notch you can see the eight inches notch very tiny i made it very tiny so we're going to look for the middle so, so this is the middle of the center back let me give it a tiny notch again so that is the middle of the center back as you can see you can see right here so we are attaching the a tie the middle of this to this
Let's see what I say. So we're attaching it like so. So guys, when attaching, remember you're attaching front facing front. Okay, please don't forget. Then we'll go and look for the we'll attach it. So let's let's continue attaching it to we get to that eight inches notch that we made that tiny notch that we made for the eight eight inches between to pin until we get to the eight inches notch so this is the eight inches notch i'm going to take my pencil this is the eight inches notch so i'm taking my pencil and i'm, I'm giving it This is it. You stop at the you stop at the eight inches notch. You see it's this tiny you stop here. Then we we'll go ahead and turn it to the other side and do the same to the other side of the neck. So I've seen my eight inches notch. This one is quite tiny, so let's use our pencil to make it bigger. So, put it to the eight, to the eight inches inch. Sorry, guys. So this is the 8 inches notch that you pin it. See, it's, it's a tiny notch that we made. So guys, this is it. Remember we stop at the, this, the 8 inches neckline, which is this. This is the 8 inches neckline. So, we are going to draw a straight line across so i use a pencil please remember when drawing your line make sure it's very straight so when drawing when you when you are done drawing you stitch from the middle this pencil mark yes from this pencil this one that i drew at the middle you stitch it down all the way down to the bottom all the way down so this place so you join the two together and take to your same machine then stitch down so i'm done stitching the middle so what we have to do now is to turn it See, I didn't stitch the neck line, so turn it this way. We'll take it to our pressing iron and give it a very good press. But before then, you see, after stitching the middle, this is what you have. So you take it to your pressing iron to give it a press. I'll come back when I'm done giving it a present. I'll show you how to attach it to your booboo. So guys, I'm done giving it a press. This is it. Yeah. After giving it a press, we are going to we are going to bring the booboo, then we'll make align it to the booboo. So okay guys this is my notch this is the notch i made earlier for the neckline line it like so then pin it so when you are done stitching it's going to be like this can you see guys when you are done stitching this is how it's going to look like so we we'll pin it down all the way to the neckline See, this is our notch, so you pin it all the way down to where our notch stops. 
So when you are done pinning to the to our notch to our eight inches neckline, you pin it down because we are going to sew it down all the way to the to the M line. Then we'll do the same to the other side. We'll do the same in the other side. So. You see it, guys? We'll pin the same thing to the other neckline. When we are done, I'll show you when I'm done. Then take it to your sewing machine and run the stitches. I'll show you the end result of this. So see it guys, when you are done, this is how it's going to be. You can see, so just take it down. So we are going to join the side and attach our pocket. I'm going to do a video to show you guys how to attach pocket. But for today's video, since we are just doing the bubble, I'm just going to attach the pocket then join the side. Okay guys, so when I'm done stitching the side to side, so I use the one inch allowance that I gave earlier for it. So when you are done this part, you give it a notch. Because it's the part, the curving part, just do this because it's the curving part, so you just give it a notch on the side. Then this is the pocket, I'm done with the pocket, so when I take it for my final finishing yeah i'm going to interlock everything every part of the dress so let me turn so guys this is how it look at the end looking gorgeous i'm so sorry i forgot to do the video before i post this but this is how it looks at the end it's looking gorgeous guys please i would like to see a comment below on how yours turned out Thank you. Please, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you for watching.